Now, I risk sounding like a conspiracy theorist, <clears throat> but it's no longer a theory. What I'm about to say is fact. The secret organizations of the world power elite are no longer secret. They have planned and are now leading us into a one-world communist government. This is all about a one-world totalitarian socialist government. It's about destroying all existing nation-states. Take control of the United States, lead us into a one-world government run by them. And so these men are planning to bring, a, uh, bring about a global form of government that's unique in all history. It's a total enslaving system of world communism and fascism. They're satanically inspired to bring about a global form of government to every nation on earth. And there is a move on uh, toward a North American Union, just like early on there was a, U a move on for a European Union and it eventually ended up. So we had NAFTA and moving toward a NAFTA highway. These are real things. They're, it's not somebody made these up. It's not a conspiracy. They don't talk about it and they might not admit about it, but there's been money spent on it. And President-elect Obama giving new life to the North American Union a plan by business and political elites to tear down the trade barriers among the United States, Canada and Mexico and to create a NAFTA superhighway, all of which to be done without the approval of Congress or the American people. Plans for an integrated North American community by 2010, moving ahead swiftly and under the radar. All this is about is open borders, open borders between Mexico and America, America and Canada, open borders without any controls and there's no telling what could happen to this country that would be in detrimental to the future of America. The Amero is the proposed new currency for the North American community, which is being uh, developed right now between Canada, the U.S., and Mexico to make a borderless community, much like the EU, and uh, the dollar, Canadian dollar, U.S. dollar, and the Mexican peso replaced by the Amero. His task and mine might be in these meetings that we held if suddenly there was a threat to this world from some other species from another planet uh, outside of the universe we'd forget all of the local differences that we have top-secret underground bases that a huge number of experimental rocket ships and circular flying disks were developed. The prototype V-7 craft was powered by engines manufactured by BMW. But we have been given patents from leading German manufacturing companies including Juha, Krupps and BMW which proved beyond all reasonable doubt that Hitler considered the Nazi secret space program a top priority. And more than 15 billion Deutschmarks were spent developing craft of all shapes and sizes. Are these, in fact, U.S. prototypes of a captured Nazi H-9 flying wing? In the late 50s, the U.S. Air Force funds the Avro car, a flying saucer that looked like a Nazi secret project called the Repulsi. And in 1965, 
a UFO crashes in Kecksburg, Pennsylvania. It is reportedly bell-shaped and covered with distinctive markings, just like a radical Nazi device that may have been built at the end of the war. Did the Nazis build successful saucer prototypes? Did the U.S. government and other nations develop them in secret? Are all of these sightings human-engineered craft? you call them UFO you are doing exactly what the enemy wants you to do the moment you call them aliens you're doing exactly what the, the enemy okay. wants you to do because it says spirits these spirits will declare themselves to be inhabitants of five distant planets and galaxies that are coming to warn the inhabitants of planet Earth of the impending destruction of the planet unless something seriously properly done Anytime the government has secrets that can they can keep from us, they can manipulate us by those secrets. In essence, they still remain 25 years at least ahead of us in technology, information, and knowledge, and secrets, and they are using them against us. I heard over the years, many times over, that the plan to usher in the new world order would be to make all the people in this country and around the world feel totally helpless to prevent the new world order. This world dominance plan by saying that we had been invaded by aliens so that we would say, oh please you and come in and help us all. So bear in mind that there is a plan, orchestration. So, if you don't want to be panicked and, and uh, stampeded by this phony threat from space, then you'll study the UFO issue and you'll find out the truth about the issue. And then when they say, oh no, there really are aliens and they're coming to eat you and you have to give up all the rest of your liberty so we can protect you, you can say, nah, I don't think so. to me over and over and the last card the last card the last card would be the extraterrestrial threat that it's all based on a lie 